today we're talking about wait periods with private flood insurance. You know, these can be significantly different than the National Flood Insurance Program. If you watched our National Flood Insurance Program course, if you watched some of our videos, you know, there's really three basic wait periods with the National Flood Insurance Program. You've got 30 day, you've got a one day, and you got a no wait. So what about private flood insurance? What do these wait periods look like? Well, first of all, let's talk about loan closing. Generally, on a loan closing with private flood insurance, there is no wait period, just like with the National Flood Insurance Program. So what about that standard policy? You just want to call in and get a policy set up. Well, depending on the carrier, generally this ranges from three days to 15 days. If you're getting a quote on private flood insurance, you want to look at the paperwork. You want to ask, hey, what is the wait period here? Because it could be a big difference between a claim being covered and not being covered. Now the third one, remember the National Flood Insurance Program, they had newly mapped rates. So they had newly mapped wait periods, right? Private flood insurance generally doesn't have newly mapped wait periods. You just have these two wait periods, the loan closing and your standard wait periods. So this is how wait periods with private flood insurance work. Now, what's also important to understand, there's a separate wait period when it comes back to coverage issues when private flood insurance, loss of use, usually has a separate wait period from when a claim can be paid out. Usually has to be up to about 14 days on that additional living expense or loss of use. So it's important to understand that. So this is how wait periods with private flood insurance work.